Hello, I am Flash Isaac, and you are welcome to the Flash Dinner series where we saw past and likely questions for your examination. And at the end of this series, your life will never remain the same because I shall be releasing a whole lot of episodes. In this series, I will be making use of the Flash Learners application. Simply visit Google Play Store or flashlearners.com to install the app. Are you watching on YouTube? I've shared the link to both the mobile and desktop app below. Download and let us begin. Which organ is used for tasting? Organ. Now, the unit of life or the simplest unit of life is cell. When a group of cells performing the same function come together, they form what we refer to as tissue. Now, group of tissue coming together to perform a specific function is referred to as organ. And group of organs coming together to perform specific system of a specific function is referred to as system. Now, cell, tissue, organ, system in increasing order. In the body, we have something referred to as sense organs. So they are used for sensing. For example, the ear for hearing, eyes for sight, nose for breathing, for inhaling. This question says, which of the organs is used for tasting? With ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you will agree with me that the organ that is used for testing is the tongue. So tongue is organ for testing, which means option D is the correct option. The system that transports blood around the body is referred to as dash. With left organ, now we are in system. System is simply a group of organs performing similar function, like I said earlier. And in the body, we have systems like uh, excretory system, respiratory system, skeletal system, nervous system, digestive system, and so on. The circulatory system or circulatory system is a system in the body that helps to circulate blood or nutrients around the body. From the heart to the body, from the body back to heart, you see, there is circulation of blood and nutrients, which means the system that transport, uh, transport blood around the body is referred to as circulatory system. Digestive system is the system that helps in digestion. Remember, digestion is the breaking down of food, breaking down of food into a simpler form or into a form that your body can absorb. When you eat pandidia, rice or beans, you start with the mouth. It turns out your mouth, it, you chew. The food breaks down, then mix with uh, the saliva in the tongue. Saliva contains an enzyme called, enzyme called thylene. Enzymes are organic catalysts that help to increase the rate of reaction. So from there, it moves from, uh, from the mouth to uh, the stomach, then through esophagus with a movement called peristasis. The movement of food down the stomach is referred to as peristasis. Then when the food gets to the stomach, you see enzymes like pepsin, renin, and dilute hydrochloric acid. In your stomach, there is an acid. The acid is concentrated in the sense that if you put a razor, you can make that razor, which is hydrochloric acid. So from there, the food, well, the enzymes act on the food, it goes to the small intestine, and so on. What is the aim? To break down that food so that the nutrient is absorbed in your body. And not all of them is useful. The waste is actually uh, ejected or you go to the toilet, you bring out waste in form of uh, solid waste, feces, sweat, uh, urine. So that is digestive system. Excretory system, they are the system that help you to remove waste products. Not all the products in the body are useful or not all of them are useful forever. The ones that have served their life, then they, they are no longer useful, you take them away. Respiratory system, they are the system that help you to breathe properly. So out of all these systems, without, I hope I'm, I've been able to convince you and not to confuse you that the circulatory system is used to transport blood around the body. Then 
This question says, toes and fingers are examples of hind joint or hinge joint. That is joint in toes and fingers. Hind joint. This is the part labeled I is that. The part labeled I is referred to as the anta. Anta. The main part of the flower is referred to as stamen. And this stamen is made up of anta and stalk or filament which support the anta. So that place is referred to as anta. Remember, for pollination to occur, pollen grains must move from the anta to the stigma, which means we can call stigma the female part of the flower. But in this case, the part labeled I is the anta. The next question says, which of the following pairs is a source of protein? They did not say which of the following food. They say pair, which means we need two combinations that must be protein. This one is protein, the other one is protein. Not that one would be a protein and the other one would not be a protein. Option A says banana and coconut. Option B says rice, beans and rice. Option C says egg and fish. Option D says milk and maize. And option E says yam and apple. In option E, you see yam and food. Yam is carbohydrate. Food, uh, apple, those should, be, those, should be, those should give you vitamins. Maize is carbohydrates, meaning the pair in option D, they are not protein. Egg and fish, they are sources of protein. So that pair makes up protein. In option B, beans is protein, uh, rice is carbohydrates. The option A, the pair doesn't make uh, protein, protein. C is the correct option. Welcome, Welcome back, back and thank you for watching this episode on the series. Feel free to check out the other episodes. Subscribe so you don't miss out any video. And feel free to tell your friends about this. Thank you.